welcome to the bridge. We're glad that you're with us. And look who's back, <laughs> alive and in person. Where have you been? Well, you spent a while in Pakistan. It's good to be home. Had a fantastic time. I'm grateful for what the Lord has done. Yeah. I'm excited to share with you the good things that the Lord has done uh, in the souls and lives of people in the country of Pakistan. I know you're glad to be home, but I am really glad to be home. Yeah. So thank you for joining with us today. We appreciate your love and your support. I appreciate your prayers that you prayed for Randy and Aaron as they were in Pakistan ministering for, um, Aaron was there for a week and Randy was there for what, 18 days, 19 days you were gone. Mm -hmm. um, four of those days of travel, I guess, right? Yeah, it's, right, like, right. it's like over 24 hours of travel time. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm glad that he's back safe and sound. I prayed that he would come back in one piece and get his walk off of the plane here in America in timely fashion and he did so praise god just got a little bit sick and overly tired but yeah. we're glad that that's all on the mend and he's doing good so thanks for joining the bridge pastor randy i'm nancy and we are going to take you into the word of god today because we are shouting for joy and that's what today's sermon is about shouting for joy amen well as we think about the joy that the lord gives us if you have your bibles turn to psalms 100 and I'd like you to just be grateful with me because the families that we were able to release this past year, there was six total. They all were able to come and have a meal uh, with me. And I was able to share a meal and pray over them. And they were also very happy and to see them not in a place of slavery where the bricks are being made, but to see them in church, to see them having uh, this wonderful uh, time of fellowship, time of prayer. I got to share the word with them. It was just, I'm just want to say that I'm ecstatic. It's, it's beyond words to think that almost 30 people have been freed from slavery and, and they're no longer bound and they're back in their homes, they're back in their schools, back in their church, they're back doing the things that God had it wants them to do and I just uh, rejoice in that and I just wanted to, to come to you today and, and share with you because uh, we are just grateful for so many literally thousands of you have been praying and hundreds of you have given and it, it made us an uh, opportunity I, just to give you a brief recap I was gone 19 days and there was nine crusades that we did we had water baptism of over 125 people. Uh, we it's had yes, that's right. We did a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. And just a, a wonderful time of educating uh, the young pastors and strategizing. Yeah. Uh, we were able to plant a new church while we were there, and the church was already full. The church that we wanted to be a part of, uh, we wanted to be a part of, we just would trust that you would just allow yourself to, to rejoice with us. Sorry for the backfire of the lawnmower at the church here. But uh, anyways, uh, just just know that God is, God is doing a great work in and amongst his people. We were in Karachi for a weekend and did ministry there in, in churches and in an outdoor crusade. It tripled in size of what they were expecting, and it was just amazing. We weren't able to do the big mega uh, crusade, but not enough funds came in to fund that one. But the Lord knows, and uh, we put all those things in the hands of the Lord. We did plenty enough as it was. I don't know how you would have yeah, put that in. But. For sure. Yeah. Well, God is good, and I just wanted to give you a brief update, and we'll be sharing pictures both on Facebook and on our ministry page uh, sharing the blessings of the Lord. So Nancy's going to read to you now from Psalms and she's going to start here and she's going to read these few verses and then we're going to go back and read verse by verse. So Nancy, okay. Psalms 100, start with verse 1. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, Amen. and we are his. We are his people, 
the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. So the first word there out of the uh, start is to shout or to praise. And it's an exuberance. It's a crescendo of praise to the Lord. And it's because of his goodness and his kindness. We should be thanking the Lord for what he's doing. And he is doing some mighty things in our hearts and in our world. Uh, and notice it says for all the earth to do this. Everyone to shout for joy. And that's what we do. We proclaim the good news of the Lord. We saw people healed. We saw people saved. Somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 900 plus people came to the Lord. Isn't that wonderful? That's amazing. I just stop sometimes and it just, you know, we, we throw these numbers out. And to worship Him with gladness. To see people that were sad, that find the true Savior. And then they're glad, and the joy that the Lord puts inside of us is like an artesian well, and it bubbles up inside of us. It's just, just wonderful. And I just hope that you uh, don't just acknowledge that in your mind, but that you ingest that into your spirit, because it's a lot of fasting and prayer, a lot of sacrifice. There's a lot of preparation. A lot of things that go on behind the scenes in the spirit realm to break down the powers of darkness and allows for the salvation to occur. And notice, come before him with joyful songs. It's time for the church to write some new songs and to, and to dust off some old songs and to get some hymns out there that are, that are classical and for us to give the Lord his honor and his praise because everything we have uh, comes from him. I'm going to ask Nancy to read now verse 3 because this is an important part of our relationship is we were created to be worshipers and we want to worship the Lord and give him honor and glory and thanksgiving. Amen. Okay, so verse 3. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people the sheep of his pasture. Notice that God's character is at stake here, and he's demonstrating who he is. The fact that he made everything, and that we have been made in the image of God, and that man was created by God, and God wants to be in relationship with us. We are his. But, see, that's a choice that's made on our part. We belong to Jesus. Now, you can belong to yourself, and you can belong to Satan, but if you choose to belong to God, God's hand of blessing will rest upon you. The sheep of his pasture. You know, God's got a special place for you to be safe, and where the wolves won't get you. And a special place where he'll bring the water still so that you can drink the water Sheep won't drink from water that's rushing. It requires the shepherd to still the water. And then the sheep can come up and they can partake and receive what they need. Now she's going to read verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. So it's our choice. And so we enter into the gates. Now, think of the temple. And, of course, the Gentiles were on the outside. And then, of course, inside was where the men gathered. And it was in the courts there that they would begin to pray. And you know how we get this waving business is from the wheat or the barley that they would harvest. And they would take that. And as they went in, they would praise the Lord with it. Hallelujah. That's where we get this waving with our hands in worship. It's praising the Lord for his provision and for his blessings, for his guidance, his help. And it's our choice. So we enter the gates. That's coming into the place where God is. And then, of course, into the courts 
Now we go in to the place where the lavalier is to wash and to prepare ourselves. Because what do we want to do? We want to cleanse ourselves to go into the Holy of Holies and have intimacy, closeness with the Lord. And it's in this place of gratefulness that all of our selfishness is removed. You can't be totally grateful and selfish at the same time. So if you allow yourself to be grateful and love God, let him bless you, and then watch how he works in and through your life. Nancy, read the last verse here, verse 5. Verse 5. For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Amen. So the Lord, we know that he's good, but we have to build that into the hearts of our culture of our children. What we revere and take time with, our kids and our children, our grandchildren, each generation is confronted with their own ability to talk about how good God is. And his love endures. You know, we go through times where there's great stress. There was some challenging moments even in Pakistan. And there were moments that we weren't sure how things were going to work out. But as we, what, keep our eyes on the Lord and we endure, anybody can quit. Anybody can quit on a marriage, on a family, on a job, on a calling from the Lord. But if we stay faithful to that, and here at Thanksgiving time, prior to Christmas, which is the incarnate person of Jesus coming into our world, this is a moment for you and I to be grateful, to be thankful. I'm so thankful for my wife. And, you know, being apart for about three weeks makes me appreciate her more and more. <laughs> and, you know, and I appreciate America. Friends, we have a great country. Let's not let our country fall apart because we just complained about it and didn't do anything. We need to pray. Absolutely. We also need to take action. We need to vote out people that are, don't align themselves with values of the Bible. And I realize that some people will be offended by that, but this nation was created by God. It's under the auspices of the Scripture, the Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We have uh, three branches of government, and each working uh, independently yet in unity together the whole concept comes from god and the only way that it works is because we want it to work and we love freedom and i have freedom i have freedom to travel i have freedom to proclaim jesus and i'm not ashamed of doing that even in dangerous places and the lord will watch over us we don't have to hide remember the little song don't hide it under a bushel don't hide it. No, we need to put the light of Jesus high on the highest poles and the highest places because he's the hope of the world. And, you know, all the nations of the world see that. And we want you to allow yourself to come to this deeper place with the Lord Jesus. I'm going to pray for you now as we wrap up our time. I hope you'll enjoy some of the pictures that we'll show as we finish up our time together but God is moving he's moving in America he's moving in California he's moving in Kansas he's moving in Illinois God is moving in Pakistan and Afghanistan he's moving all over the world and I just want to pray for you that you would experience the presence of God and that we together can continue to put the light of Jesus out into the world Lord Thank you for my friends that are watching right now. And Nancy and I just agree together in prayer. And we pray for them, Lord, that they would receive their miracle. Yes. Lord, we just believe you for it. Lord. Many of us are standing in faith, believing to get results back from tests, believing to get results back from the decisions that we've made, uh, looking to you to be our uh, El Shaddai, our provider. And I just ask God right now, as we are so overwhelmed with goodness and gratefulness as we honor you with our lives that you would be glorified in all that's said and all that's done and lord we don't take any of the glory 
all the honor and all the praise for all the salvations, all the water baptisms, all the infilling of the spirits, all the move of God that comes, the teaching of the word, the change that occurs, Lord, through the power of, of the scriptures. We just pray, Lord, that we would align ourselves with the Bible and that the Bible itself would lead us into everlasting life. Guide us now, Lord. Bless my friends. Meet every need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. See you next time on The Bridge. Thank you for joining us today on The Bridge. Please check out our website at www.thebridgeministry.online. Also, like us on your favorite social media platform. And if you're on YouTube, be sure and like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great week.